Working with text and word balloons in Motion Artist is pretty simple. You just open the word balloon and text dialog box, and uh, this is what you see. Uh, there's an enter text dialog box and a preview area. Now, if I want to add a word balloon to this, I simply select a word balloon from the pull down list, and you can see that it surrounds the text. Now, I can set the size of the word balloon relative to the text, and then also scale the text as large as I want. Uh, I can come back and change this at any time. Now, if I want to change the tail on the word balloon, I can scroll down here and I know what I want to select already. So uh, I'm going to select a wavy tail, hit the OK button, and I'll get this in my presentation. Now I can do whatever I want with this. Uh, place it wherever I want. I can duplicate it, cut it, paste it. Anytime I want to go back and, and edit it, I just double click on it and uh, add text. And again, if I want to scale it back to a similar size, hit the OK button and then I can edit it at any time. So there are a number of other things that I can do. Of course I can select any text that uh, I have on my system here and uh, easily change the, the text at any time. I can change the color of the text. Um, I can outline the text and also change the fill of the word balloon. Hit the OK button and there you have it. Now if I wanted this inside the panel instead of a floating object like it is now uh, there are a number of things I can do, but the easiest one is to double click on the panel uh, and then with the panel selected go back into the text tool and I have what I had last time. Hit the OK button and now I have a duplicate of this that's inside the panel and it's masked by the panel itself. And again, if I want to even animate the text or the word balloon itself, um, I can do that. Show you a quick little animation here called Shake Object. Put that on the word balloon. Hit the OK button and I'll scrub through here. 